Now, let us see a very different uh, problem. Now, this is the section 3 and we have to match the following options here which are given to us. So, let us see here what is the problem looks like. It is given that x is a set for which f x is equal to 0 and f x is equal to sin of pi cos x and again g x is equal to cos of 2 pi sin x. Now, this set is containing the elements where f x is equal to 0 and we have to match this x with the following information. The option P is a set which is containing 4 elements. Again, Q is an option that the elements of x are in arithmetic progression and is given that all the information which is given to us will be written in the increasing order. So, we have to check first for x, then we will be moving to y, z and w. So, what is given here? It is given that f x is equal to 0. Now, what is f x here? It is sin of pi cos x. So, sin of pi cos x is equal to 0, we know that this will be equal to 0 when this is this angle is multiple of n pi. Now, from here we have cos x is equal to n. Now, the possible values of n are here 1, 0 and minus 1. You know the values are 1, 0 and minus 1 and for 1 and minus 1 when cos x is equal to 1 and minus 1, x is equal to definitely n pi and when it is equal to 0, x is equal to the odd multiple of pi. So, it is 2 n plus 1 into pi by 2. Now, you can easily see which are the options which are correct here. It is simply equal to p option and q option 4. So, x, p and q are definitely the correct option. So, let us check again for y. Let us see y is given here. Now, y set is given to us that it is a set containing where f dash x is equal to 0. f x we know what is f x. Now, the derivative of f x is equal to 0. So, we have to differentiate this. Now, differentiating this f dash x is equal to here cos of pi cos x and the derivative of pi cos x is minus pi sin x. Now, this will be 0 when? This will be 0 when sin x is equal to 0 or this pi cos x is again an odd multiple of pi by 2. So, sin x will be 0 where? So, let us see sin x will be 0 again when x is equal to multiple of n pi, right? And also pi cos x will be equal to odd multiple of pi by 2. So, from here we have cos x is equal to 2n plus 1 by 2. So, what are the possible values? The possible values are again 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 2. Now, what are the angles where cos x gives you 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 2? x is equal to 2n pi, it is plus minus pi by 3. Now, these are the values and we can make a set. Now, the option which are correct here is again it is option which is correct here is q and t that is the values are in arithmetic progression and again they are including this particular set that is pi by 3, 2 pi by 3 and pi. Now, we have to check for z. Now, z is given here. z is a very different function. It is g x equal to 0 and what is g x? g x is cos 2 pi sin x. Now, let us see 
let us write here g x it is cos 2 pi sin x now we have to make this 0 now when this will be 0 when this is again odd multiple of pi by 2 now from here sin x will be equal to 2n plus 1 upon 1 by 4 now putting various values here say x is equal to 0 we will get 1 by 4 also at n is equal to 1 we will get uh, 3 by 4 and also we will get minus 3 by 4 and minus 1 by 4 now if you check the correct option here you can see here you can see from here that the angles will be very different and the set which will be included here this will give you the option number r that is the values will now will not be definitely in arithmetic progression so here is the third one now let us move on to w now in w again it is given that g dash x is equal to 0 so we have to again differentiate this function that that is g x this was g x for x so differentiating this function we will have 2 pi cos x into sin of 2 pi sin x now this will become 0 when again cos x will become 0 and again we have here odd multiple of pi by 2 right and this will become 0 when 2 pi sin x will be equal to multiple of n pi and from here we have sin x is equal to n by 2 now the values which we can have from here by putting n is equal to 0 so sin x is equal to 0 or it will be half minus half 1 and minus 1 so we can calculate what is x from here so we have x from here this and again this will give you more values so x will be definitely equal to n pi it will be also equal to 2n plus 1 pi by 2 this will include these two values and for these we have n pi plus minus 1 raised to the power n pi by 6 again plus as well as minus sign we can have these two values as well so if you calculate all the values here you will see the options which are correct here uh, again if you check it out it will be p then it will be r and s if you check it, check it out you will see the values are not in arithmetic progression so these will be the three options correct for option four let's move to the next problem 